good morning students welcome to online english language class so we are in lesson 4 story by the author roald dahl and name of the story going solo here solo means alone we already completed the story and book exercise of the chapter today we will discuss on word meaning fill in the blanks true false statement and make sentences so let us start you all write it down in your copy and memorize them okay so here is the here are the word meanings solo alone aerodrome a small airport wheezing wheezing M move quickly through air with a buzzing sound civil related to ordinary citizen instructor a person who teaches something trainer efficient skilled stampeded rush wildly acrobatic able to perform complex movement glide move with a smooth motion slide carburetor a part of the engine radar a controlling device used to steer ship boat aircraft etc throttle device to control the flow of the fuel or power to an engine cockpit seat of the pilot in a plane slipstream current of air behind a fast moving vehicle asphyxiated spell the this this word carefully as fixated okay unconscious unconscious on being able to breathe formidable sorry unconscious on being unable to breathe unable to breathe formidable impressive wild beast type of large antelope sensor an officer who examines the soldiers communication for sensitive information so these are the word meanings now complete the following sentences filling the blanks these are for from the story at the aerodrome we had three instructors and three planes here was the blank okay next to tiger moth is a totally efficient and very acrobatic little plane powered by a gypsy engine the engine was running and i was getting a rush of wind full in the face from the slip stream for on the first flight i was almost asphyxiated by the slip stream 5 a log book of a pilot contained a record of every flight the purpose destination of the trip and the time spent in air 6 in the great rift valley the big game and the smaller game were as plentiful as cows on a dairy farm 7 Every day I saw the animals 
from the cockpit of tiger moth. Next, eight, huge herds of buffalo and wild beast stampede in all directions as I whizzed over. Next, I flew over the pink flamingos on Lake Nakuru and around the snow summit of Mount Kenya. Rual Tal wrote a letter to his mother about the time he was learning to fly. You please read the whole story thoroughly. There can be uh, fill, uh, fill in the blanks from any line, from any portion of the story. So, read the story thoroughly. Now, I am giving you the homeworks. Write whether the following statement is true or false. The author flew, flew, sorry, flew in his tiger moth through the sky above India. Is it true or false? You have to write here. Next, tiger moth is a very efficient and hardy airplane. Is it true or false? You have to write. 3. Instructor of the author was Wilson. Whenever a pilot flying a military airplane, he must sit on his food box. You have to write here true or false. Ruel Dahl was a very tall person. 6. In every military camp, an officer should do all works like preparing food, washing utensils and clothes, etc. in his own. Author Roald Dahl lost his logbook. The spotted leopard in the story was watching the pink flamingos. Roald Dahl wrote a letter to his mother on 4th December 1939. You have to write here true or false. Roald Dahl was an American writer and fighter pilot. You have to write here true or false. You write uh, all the answers in your own and in, in uh, our next class I'll tell you the uh, exact the correct uh, uh, answers then you check it with that. Next make sentences with the following. Pilot, instructor, parachute, cockpit, sensor, proficient. So that's all for today's class and our next class I'll discuss on the uh, question answer, short question answer and reference to the context on this story. Okay. So bye till then.